Welcome, boys and girls, to our Bible lesson this week. Can you guess what our uh, topic's going to be? Yes, dinosaurs. But you say dinosaur, the word dinosaur doesn't even appear in the, in the Bible. Does the Bible really talk about these amazing creatures that lived and roamed the earth? Yes, it does. But why doesn't that word appear in the Bible? Let me show you a little chart from uh, Answers in Genesis website that will help you uh, understand why the word doesn't appear in our Bible. As you can see on this chart, the word dinosaur wasn't invented until 1841. But our English Bibles, our English Bibles were translated all the way back, uh, our King James Version anyway, back in 1611, in the 1600s. And so the word dinosaur didn't even exist um, uh, at that time. Um, but the Bible does talk about these creatures and uh, we know of uh, uh, individuals in the scriptures who actually uh, lived and uh, saw these creatures. Let's take a look, uh, beginning in the book of Genesis. We know from the book of Genesis that God created everything, both in heaven and earth, uh, the sun, moon, stars, and everything, all the creatures uh, that live upon the earth in six days. So on what day would he have created the dinosaurs? Well, dinosaurs technically are uh, land animals. And so on what day did God create the land animals? Would you say day six? That's right. Look, look at Genesis chapter one and verse 24. Then God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth, each according to its kind, and it was so. God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness, and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth and every creature that creeps on the earth. And so dinosaurs would have been created on day six, be being land animals. And, but you say, shouldn't the Bible, if they really existed, shouldn't there be a description of them somewhere? Yes, you're exactly right. In fact, uh, the book of Job, we see just such a description. So get your Bibles, turn to Job chapter 40, and let's take a look there. Job chapter 40 and verse 15. Look now at behemoth, which I made along with you, Job. He eats grass like the ox. See now his strength is in his hips, in his power, in his stomach muscles. He moves his tail like a cedar tree. His sinews of his thighs are tightly knit his bones are like beams of bronze and his ribs like bars of iron he is the first of the ways of god and so what a description perfect description of a large dinosaur creature here who has a tail like a cedar tree okay so none of our creatures living today uh, fit that description the elephant uh, his tail is, if you look up uh, online, look up pictures of the tail of an elephant or a hippopotamus. They're just tiny, tiny little things. Uh, certainly would not remind Job or anyone looking at this creature of a, of a cedar tree. Um, but certainly um, many of the larger dinosaur creatures uh, that uh, we I have fossils, found fossils of, had huge gigantic tails that would have swayed like a huge tree uh, in the wind. And so only a dinosaur-like creature fits this description here that Job gives us of behemoth. And notice what else it says about him. He is chief of the ways of God. In other words, this is the largest, uh, most magnificent creature uh, that God created along with Job. And so this is a creature Job knew and that lived during his time. 
Um, and certainly elephants and hippopotamuses and other creatures, the whale, uh, the great blue whales are huge creatures, but um, the dinosaur is certainly chief among the land animals and the elephants and hippopotamuses don't come near uh, the size of the uh, dinosaur fossils that we find. Now, not, none of them are alive today, are they? But what happened to them? Well, if you remember last time we talked about the, the flood in the days of Noah and God says, every living creature is going to be destroyed except those that were on the ark. And so the fossils we find today um, all around the world, uh, we find fossils of these uh, dinosaur creatures buried in mud and sediment. This is waterborne uh, sediment all over the earth were destroyed by the flood of Noah. Only the ones that Noah took with him on the ark survived. And after the, after the ark landed in the mountains of Ararat and they spread, uh, they were um, killed off uh, and ex made extinct by many hunters and diseases and other things just like animals are today. But God created these magnificent creatures along with man on day six of creation. And they are an example of God's magnificent power and ability to create uh, creatures beyond our imagination. And so this magnificent creature uh, reminds us of, of the mighty God that we serve. And boys and girls, these, this only scratches the surface of uh, what we know about these creatures. And so um, when we're able to get back together, I'll, I'll, have these, uh, I'll have these books in the back there on the bookshelf. Uh, this one about dinosaurs and this magazine. Um, and if you would like to uh, take a look at them or um, go on the Answers in Genesis website and you can read for yourself many of the things that if you do a little search on dinosaurs, uh, you can find out lots of interesting things that the Bible uh, has to say about these creatures. We can trust the Bible from the very first verse. And, and um, I hope this uh, whets your appetite a little bit to uh, study the scriptures and trust what God says from the very first verse in Genesis 1-1. God is our creator and what a mighty God he is.